Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 70. Class 70. Let's go! Beginner. Okay, welcome. Yes, welcome to the beginner class, the first class, the first portion of today's th show. And we're going to begin with a review of numbers. Yesterday we were practicing with numbers. And now we can review a little bit what we were practicing with millions and thousands pero nunca se dice millions, solamente, bueno, digamos million. Cuando, cuando estamos diciendo el, bueno, el, el número, when we're saying the number, we say 3,265,124, for example. So, the first number. I will dictate some numbers. So, please, get out your pen and paper. Okay. Get out your pen and paper and write these numbers down. Apuntar los números. Okay. The first number. 3,560,640. And the second number. 2,432,569. And the third number. 7,903,000. 234. Very good. Okay, what was the first number? The first number. En casa, en voz alta. 3 million. 500 and. 100 and. 100 and. Siempre así. 560. 1,000. 60. 16. No, no, no. 60. 60. 560. 1,000. 640. Very good. And the second number was 2,432,569. Okay. Very good. And the third number, 7,903,000. 34. Very good. Okay. Let's try three more numbers. Are you ready for three more numbers? The first number, 6,769,235. And the second number, 1,350,000. 560. And a third number. 1,325,540. Okay. Did you get all the numbers correct? What was the first number? The first number. What is the first number? It is. En voz alta. Conmigo. Six million seven hundred and sixty nine thousand. Muy bien. Two hundred and thirty five. Very good. Muy bien. And the second number. One million three hundred and fifty thousand five hundred and sixty. Very good. Muy bien. And the final number. 1,325,540. Very good. Okay. Now we can move on and practice with the translation list. Translation. Yes, it's time to practice with translation list 13. 
Now, we did this yesterday, but we're going to review. Vamos a repasar. We're going to review, okay, the translation list. So, number one, ¿es aquello para mí? Is that for me? Number two, ¿quién es mi jefe? Who's my boss? Number three, ¿qué tal estás? How are you doing? How are you doing? Number four, bien, gracias. Fine, thank you. Number five, esa es una buena pregunta. En voz alta, that's a good question. Con la contracción, that is, pero that's. That's a good question. That's a good question. Muy bien. Number six. La respuesta es un poco extraña. The answer is a little strange. Y fíjate que aquí digamos answer. No es answer. No, no, no. Answer. 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 We do not pronounce the W. Answer. 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 Number seven. ¿Dónde está su padre? De ella. Where's her father? Where is? Where's? Where's her father? Number eight. Mi madre es de Canadá. My mother is from Canada. Canada. Number, number nine. Canadá es un país muy grande. Canada is a very big country. Yes, it is. Canada is a very big country. Number 11. Está cerca de Estados Unidos. It's near the United States. It's near the United States. Number 11. Mi jefe esté allí también. My boss is from there, too. And number 12, el inglés es el idioma oficial. English is the official language. English is the official language. Okay. Very good. And just like my radio show, this on this show, English is the official language. Yes, I'm from Canada. And I am from a, a small town. Um, and yes, English is the official language. But Canada is bilingual at the federal level. A nivel nacional, digamos. Federal. In English, we say the federal level. And the meaning the federal government. Documents from the federal government come in, um, come in English and in French. Your tax doc documents, for example, are in English and in French. But then every provincial government, well, every, every province has an official language. So in eight provinces, the official language is English. There are ten provinces. Eight, eight of the provinces, the official language is English. One is French, Quebec. And one province, the official language is, well, Bilingual. It is officially bilingual also at the provincial level, which is, um, which is New Brunswick. It's yes, the province of New Brunswick. So if you get into your car and you start to drive west, if you get into your car in my province, Nova Scotia, all the signs, the signs, the road signs are in English. And then when you cross to New Brunswick, they are English and French. Then when you cross to Quebec, they are only French. Then when you cross into, when you enter Ontario, they are again only English. So the language of the signs, just like a European country, the language of the signs depends on the, the area that you are in. Word of the day. All right, yes, it is time for our word of the day. The word of the day today is... Balance. Como equilibrio. 
balance. We have to find a balance between the left and the right. We have to find a balance. We have to find a balance. And, well, I, I also have to balance. If I stand, if I stand on one foot, I must balance. I have to balance so I don't fall over. A balance. I have to, I have to balance. I have to balance. The verb, to balance, to balance on one foot. And then we also have the noun, a balance between too much and not enough. Or politically, between the left and the right, we have to find a balance. Yes. So, balance. B-A-L-A-N-C-E. Como balance. Pero digamos, balance. To balance. Let's see if I can balance a book on my head. Okay, let's see. There it is. And yes, I am doing it. I'm balancing a book on my head. Ooh, there we go. The verb, again, the, there, the verb to balance. But the word of the day, yes, can be a verb or a noun. Balance. Balance. All right. All right. Now, here we are in class 70.2. And here we can practice, we are practicing with direct and indirect objects. So, in Spanish, you say complemento directo y indirecto. So, we have a picture. Now, you cannot see the picture, but if you, look, if you watch the television today, you will see the picture. You will see a picture of a girl. This girl is Denise. We will call her Denise. And she is giving, she is giving Michael a book. She is giving him a book. She is giving him a book. Okay, the girl is giving the boy a book. Okay, so we have this picture. She is giving him a book. Now, what happens when we use the pronoun... When we substitute it for the book, the order of the indirect object and the direct object changes. So we say, she is giving him, indirect object, the book, direct object. What is she giving? The book. She's giving the book. So that's our direct object. Then the order changes when we introduce the pronouns. We, so we say, she is giving him the book. She is giving it to him. We do not say she's giving him it. No, she's giving it to him. Okay, this is very important. She's giving it to him with her right hand. She's not giving it to him with her left hand. She's giving it to him with her right hand. She's giving it to him in the house. She is not giving it to him on the street. Okay? She's giving it to him in the house. She's giving Michael a book. She's giving it to him in the house. She's giving it to him with her right hand. She's giving it to him slowly. Okay? He is taking the book from her. Okay? He is taking it from her. We have her using the pronoun. He is taking it from her. He's taking it from her with his left hand. He's not taking it from her with his right hand. Okay? So here... We can see, and we can practice here with this verb to give, que es dar. Imagine, here I am with Layla in the studio, and I am giving her, I am giving her a pencil, okay? I am giving her a pencil. I'm giving it to her with my right hand. I'm giving it to her slowly. I'm giving it to her with my right hand. Okay? I'm giving it to her. 
Now I'm giving a glass of water to Alberto. I'm giving a glass of water to Alberto. I'm giving it to him with my right hand. I'm giving a glass of water to Alberto. I can say, I'm giving Alberto, I'm giving Alberto a glass of water. But when we use the pronoun, we say, I'm giving it to replace glass of water, we have to say it first, okay? I'm giving it to him. The direct object comes first when we are using the pronouns it or in the plural them. Now, I'm giving I'm giving Fitz a pile of books. Well, I'm giving Fitz three books. I'm giving Fitz three books. I'm giving them to him in the studio. I'm giving them to him slowly. Okay? So this is important when we're using the pronoun it or them to replace the direct object. That direct object comes before the indirect object. Okay? Which is not doesn't have to be true when when we're not using the the pronoun. Okay? So I can say I'm giving Fitz a book. I'm giving it to him in the office. Okay? And you can practice with this. You can study this concept in your student guide on page 79. And you can also follow this on television today. Okay? If you haven't seen the show, t- tune in again this evening and you can watch this and we will practice with this concept. Richard will teach it. And then a teacher will come on and uh, practice this concept with you on Aprende Inglés TV this afternoon. Okay? Now it's time to move on. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it's time for the vocabulary of the day. Our first word of vocabulary today is tiempo. ¿Qué es? Time. 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 Hoy. Today. Mañana. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Que no es tomorrow. No, no. Tomorrow. Invierno. Winter. Equivocado. Wrong. Wrong. To be wrong. You, he, if I say, um, if I say, I am Chinese, well, I would be wrong. Because it's not true. It's not right. It's wrong. To be wrong. W-R-O-N-G. Wrong. Wrong. Okay, we are out of time. We have more to do, 70.3, but I will get to this tomorrow. We can practice this tomorrow, so don't worry, but just be sure to tune in again tomorrow this at the same time, and we will cover all of, we will review class 70, and we'll move ahead into class 71, okay? I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>